Have you ever wondered how to tag your calves? How to keep up with numbers? All that information that's written on them? Well, you can go the expensive route. Some people do where they've got uh, pre-printed tags and all that good stuff. But us, we don't have time or money to be able to put into doing that. So what do we do? We've started putting double tags on each cow because you never know when one of these jokers is going to rip one out. For example, ripped one out. She's got a ripped out of your tag. She's got a ripped out of your tag. But most of them we start putting in double tags. And on there, they'll have a number, which is the identification number for the cow. They'll have a letter, usually on top of it, on the way we do them. So it's, her number is F475A. The F sits on top. That tells me the year that she was born. If you're not familiar with the year number system, just punch it into Google. It'll give you a year number. Uh, we use different letters for each year. It goes through the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We don't use I because it's confusing. Um, it, it, it looks like too many other letters. So it goes H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Actually, we don't use V because that's also confusing. So we skip past it as well. So um, you, the last letter on ours identifies the bull nut, bull for us. So um, we have our bulls marked as well with a, with a separate code, an A code in this case, that identifies the bull she's out of. And if you look up high on the tag, right up as it goes up towards her ear, you'll see a number. That's her dam's tag number so that we know in an instant which cow she's out of, which bull she's out of, which helps us with being able to sort and make breeding decisions as well because obviously we don't want to run the risk of bringing her back to her father. Or uh, And we also sometimes like being able to know what her mother is, what kind of genetics she's got coming into her, so it makes it real easy to sort on the spot what kind of animal she is. That's the simple part of ear tags. We like these Z tags. They pop right through the ear. Now we write, but we write the number on both sides of the tag in case she's standing with her ear flipped backwards. You get a ch chance to be able to read and see what it is. Yes, some of them you'll see a little K on them. The red tags, or if they've got a little K up there, uh, and I know K is not their year because that that's this year's calves. Um, those mean that they belong to Ken rather than to Marie. So that's just a simple way of us keeping them separate: is color tag, that kind of thing. Helps me know which calves belong to who. And helps us in the pastures just to be able to sort out um, who those mamas are. Now, we tag our babies the day they're born if possible. Uh, we try to jump on them. They usually get a shot of Multimin, a shot of Nasogen up their nose on the day that they're born. We usually try to band any calves that have no potential just genetically of being bull candidates, which are very few of ours. We, uh, for the most part, don't raise bulls. We raise heifers and steers. So if possible, we sometimes even band them on that day one. Um, it really depends on the temperament of the mother as to how much we can get done. Now the way we do it with calves is heifer calves get a tag in their right ear and steer calves get a tag in their left ear. That way we can easily look at them real quick and identify when we're sorting as to which kind of animal they are. Now once they're weaned and they go to being able to be fed or put into a heifer retention program, they'll get a second tag as well. And then our steers or uh, or coal heifers that are going to be going to fat to be fed, they'll get double tags with uh, special ID numbers for the particular cells that they go through. That includes the RFID tag that goes in one ear and a uh, a cell barn number tag that goes with the other. So if you've got a tagging program, I'd love to hear how you do it as well. That's the way we do it. That's the way we run ours. And uh, yeah, how do you tag your calves to keep up with them? Love to hear it. Thanks for shooting the bull, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the latest updates.